is up guys it's JV here and today we're going to be giving my NFL predictions for 2017 through 18 if you don't like any of my predictions well um, you have your own opinion I have my opinion don't dislike the video because I have my opinion so let's start with the Browns the Browns I think they fit well with a four and twelve. Yeah, the Browns are slowly but surely improving. Next, we get the Steelers. I think they're gonna be ten and six. Even though Ben Roethlisberger is getting old, they still got this. He's got like one more year to be in the playoffs. Next is Cincinnati. I think they're going to be 9 and 7 because and they're going to make the playoffs and obviously lose in the first game. Like always, it's that's not even a question. And the Baltimore Ravens. Wow, they're like I have no idea cuz I I really want them to be 9 and 7, but they're better than Cincinnati, so I'll put them at 9 and 7, but they beat Cincinnati, so they're going to the playoffs. And actually, no, so since now, just, let's just say they're 9 and 7. Next, we have the best team in the whole NFL, the Bears. <coughs> if this one's a little high, um, uh, it's because I'm a Bears fan, but it's obviously gotta be, it has to be, 10 and 6. They're beasts. Mitchell Trubisky is a beast. Um, best running back in the league. Clutch wide receivers, that's not true, but who cares? They're a good team, okay? Next, we have the Green Bay Packers. This one might trigger all the Green Bay Packers fans of the world, but I got a feeling in here that they're going to be 7-9. and nine. I mean... <laughs> You're glad I didn't give you 3 and 13, because that's what I had in my mind. But I'm going to say 7 and 9. My, ne my next one is the Minnesota Vikings. They're also going to be 7 and 9. And the one after that, the Lions are going to be 8 and 8. So they make the playoffs, and the Bears make the playoffs. So the Bears are first in the division. Um, the Lions are second. Uh, don't, don't, don't get pissed, Packers fans. Vikings are in third, and then the Packers are in fourth. Let's go, baby! Next one is the Patriots. Okay. My prediction is that Tom Brady's gonna get injured late in the season. At around the 12th game. So they're gonna be 11 and 5. Next, we have the Jets. Oh man, I love, I mean, I like the Jets. Um,. I think 9-7 fits their spot. Well, let's take a new QB. Let's just say 9-7. Next, the Bills! Uh, why, why did I make that so dramatic? The Bills? Come on. Um, uh, well, the Bills, um, 8-8. Eight eight. Next, the Miami Dolphins. The beast himself. Why am I so stupid? Um, the Dolphins. One in sixty million. Okay, so I think the Dolphins. Ow, God. Um, the Dolphins are going to be six. Okay, I'm sorry, Dolphin fans. Um, I think they're going to be um, 10 and 6. There we go. Even though the Bears are going to beat them in the regular season, even if they play them, I don't No, they don't even play them. God damn it. Next, we have the Colts. Why am I making everything so dramatic? The Colts, the Indianapolis Colts. Man, what is wrong with me? All right, the Indian, Indian, the Indianapolis Colts. I think they'll be like nine seven. Jacksonville Jaguars seven and nine without a doubt. Um, they needed a running back. They have a quarterback. 
They had Toby Gerhardt. I, I, my mom knows Toby Gerhardt, so he's probably pissed right now. Next, we have the Titans. Uh, the Titans are probably a 10-16. But in that preseason game, whoa, Bears beat the Titans. Ah. Uh, let's drop that down to a 9-7. Next, we have the Titan, and this is the one, that, the Titan. So yeah, tight. Yeah. Next we have the Texans, and this is the one that I believe so strongly. Woo! Titans, twelve and four. The only position they needed was a quarterback, and guess who they got for that quarterback? So Texans, you know, twelve and four. Let's go. That's reasonable. No one cannot agree with that. Next, you know, we have the Seahawks. How would how would you guys know? Um, 11 and 5. 11 and 5. 11 and 5. 11 and 5. Definitely 11 and 5. Next, we have the Rams. Um, Rams are super overrated, like, for their defense. Damn, it sucks. So, I'm, I'm giving it a... I'm giving this guy, the Rams, this guy, 4 and 12. Also, Todd Gurley is literally the most overrated running back in the whole entire NFL. He is so bad. Here we go, San Francisco, San Francisco 49ers. Um, I mean, they got Brian Hoyer. So they could bump it up to a five and eleven. Yeah. Arizona Cardinals, even though they have a Hall of Famer wide receiver, he's really old. Um, so I'm giving him an eight and eight. Next we have the Eagles. Uh, well, the people who booed Santa Claus fans. Yeah. Um. Here we go. Eagles. I. I. I have a feeling they are a 10 and 16. Next, we have the Cowboys. The Cowboys are 10 and 6 this year because Ezekiel Elliott got, excuse me, um, got uh, suspended. Woo woo! Oh yeah, yeah, they're they're deaf. They're probably um uh 10 and 16 reasonable. Next, we have possibly. The team that will get the most triggered and also the most overrated team in the whole NFL. The New York Giants. I know, I know, I said it, I said it though. It's Odell? Come on, man. I was rooting for you guys against the Packers and then you blew it. So pissed. God. And you had like five chances to score touchdowns and you blew them all. Next, we have the Redskins. Um, I think they're a 10 and 16. Like, I don't care. And I don't watch the Redskins unless if they're on Thanksgiving last year when they're against the Cowboys because I really do not like the Cowboys, but I think they're. A 10-6 team. Next, we're moving to the other division, the Saints. Oh, those Saints. The Saints. Why? I made them a lot better than, I made them sound like they're a lot better than they really were. But, the Saints, I mean, Drew Brees is getting a little old, but you know, just to support him, nine and seven. Falcons three and thirteen. They're going back to the Super Bowl, I think. Yep, definitely going back to the Super Bowl. Next, the Panthers. Um, well, I nine and seven, and then I'm doing the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers are an eight and eight. No, nine. 
and seven. They're both nine and seven. And then, so there's three people that are nine and seven. Woo! This is the last division, probably the toughest division, other than the first team. But so, San Diego Chargers. They. Six and ten. The Broncos. Woo! Um, they're probably gonna be nine and seven, but they won't make the playoffs. Next, the Raiders. Woo! Eleven and five, and Kansas City is eleven and five, but Kansas City wins the division. So, um, my Super Bowl predictions. Actually, I'll just do the playoffs. So, the wild card round, um, it's the Lions versus. Uh... Oh, wait, so the game to go to the Super Bowl, um, I just skipped to that because I don't care about the other games really that much. So, the game to go to the Super Bowl, um, it's going to be the Bears. Versus the one second Atlanta Falcons and sorry to say Bears you're gonna lose that game but the Falcons are going to the Super Bowl yeah and on the other side um the Texans versus the um what did I say again I need to watch the clip again. Texans versus the Patriots. That will be an epic matchup. But like I said, Texans are going to the Super Bowl. Oh my God. Yeah. Woo. 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 So, um, God, I need to. So, um, obviously, you know. Well, you don't know. Who's winning the Super Bowl this year? Well, this was a super tough decision. Because I actually like both of these teams a lot. It was like a jump off a... Stare decision. Oh! I figured it out! I know! It was so... It was so hard. I had to jump off a stair. Um... It's gotta be. Uh, it can't gotta be. Um, I, I just... Okay, the Texans win it. But then next year, the Falcons go and win the Super Bowl. I'm guessing. Can't make any promises. How can I make the promises for the NFL? Wow, what is wrong with me? 